But for the time being, we've got the return of his clanciness. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, so you've got, one more, uh, you've got two more tunes to do for us, but one straight away. So what are you going to do next? We're going to play a song called uh, Gold Diggers. Okay, great. Go for it. Thank you. All that money today is your fear. That was fabulous. His clanciness live in session with Gold Diggers. Jonathan, did you just stick a vibrato on the end there? Is that what you did? What? A vibrato. <laughs> yes, on... I, did. I did. That's exactly the last part section. That sounded really, really great. Thank so, you. Um, so if we can just go back a little bit. As I say, it was Martin Noble from British Sea Power. Talking of which, have you noticed a heron? In I did. The... I did. I thought it was actually in the room, but it's in the middle, like just for the people to see outside, kind of keeping everyone... Yeah. To a distance outside. It's such, it's such a kind of a treasured possession that obviously it's been put between two thick pieces of glass. And <laughs> you don't want it, anyone taking it away. No, it's alarmed up. Don't even look at it again. You've done your bit. But it's, okay. si it's signed by British Sea Power. And uh, yeah, it looks great in the window here. It's the best thing in the window, I would say. Um, so, um, but anyway, yeah, when Martin Noble told me about you in the first place, it was about a classic education, which is the band that you're in. Yes, that's another band I'm in, actually, with Julia, too, who's here today. Right. And uh, another three friends. And, uh, it's a band based in Bologna. We um, we met British Sea Power on tour, uh, touring our record called Call It Blazing. We did like a month US tour, just had such a great time. Then we, they called us back, did like a small European tour, and we've been in touch ever since kind of thing. Yeah, I'm just, is, who is responsible for that? Where's that coming from? Does anybody know? Doesn't matter if we can't get rid of it, it's not the end. I've got tonight. Uh, there you go, anyway. that was me. That was my, uh... Fine. I've got tinnitus anyway, so you did well to spot <laughs> it. Uh, but yeah, when Martin told me about this, and then he also told me about his clanciness, I thought, all oh, right, okay, so this is a side project. But it's not, is it? No, no. Uh, it's, it's a... F I don't even like the word project, because it, I think, like, the word project always kind of shows, like, a, an ending or something. Uh, like, it's like a term thing, and there is no kind of, like, ending for this. I mean... It's got my name in it, but at the same time, I didn't choose Jonathan Clancy because I like the idea of having a band. And uh, uh, Jacob and I have known each other for like 10 years, and so he came in to record on the new album. And I think it's a band. That's the idea of it. And uh, there's no ending to it. I don't know. Kind of thing. No, uh, well, yeah, I don't want to get morbid. I mean, you know, obviously, you're <laughs> you just know what I mean. You're making great records, and yeah, they, why, why should you be looking towards the end of it? <laughs> uh, but uh, you spent most of your life growing up between Canada and Italy. Yeah. So, which country would you say had the biggest influence on you musically? Um, probably Canada, just because when you're not living in a place, you kind of dream about it more. Um, I always feel that way when I kind of write more about stuff that I don't know than stuff I know. So, at the moment, I've been living in Bologna for a long time, and Canada, even the city I'm actually originally from Ottawa, which is 
kind of like a normal city in Canada. And uh, but for me, it's kind of like a dream place, even though I've been there recently and I've been there many times. But you know, when you're so far away from something, you kind of dream about it and make it up maybe more than what it actually is. Kind of. You thing. always want what you cannot have. I don't know who exactly. Said that. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, so I, cause, I mean. F- Part of my ignorance, I've got so much of it, I have to show it somewhere. Uh, a, a lot of my kind of uh, knowledge of Italian music would be about kind of real out and out pop music and conversely, prog. Yeah, you know, that's bands true. Like PFM, you know, and, and Goblins and all those kind of that's crazy That's great stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Italy has kind of like a really vibrant, actually, scene. Uh, a lot of like noise bands, punk bands, and stuff like that. It just doesn't seem to cross the borders that much, but I think it's happening more and more now, actually, in the last like two or three years. Um, People are, uh, are, are are getting used to the fact that it's easy to cross the Alps. So Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like, if, if just, anybody like me, they've got a helicopter. It's dead easy. Yeah, it? that's super easy. It's no bother whatsoever. You were, I'm uh, right in saying, uh, in punk bands and hardcore bands before you got melodic, weren't you? Yeah. Inspired by what I mean, band particularly? Black Flag and the like, was it? Uh, it's funny because we're reading, I'm reading on the road the American hardcore uh, Stephen uh, Blush book, I think uh, okay, it is. Okay, not really. So, yeah, so yeah. Uh, uh, no, I'm not particularly... I mean, Black Flag is obviously a big thing, but I was more like... Uh, and Julia and Jacob, especially from like the San Diego hardcore scene of the 90s, bands like Click Attack, Ikatoi, Antioch Arrow, all these weird bands that were on this Swing label kids. called Gravity. What? Swing Kids. Swing Kids. Swing, Swing Kids, kids right, Struggle, okay. um, all these bands that kind of came around like uh, mid-90s and were kind of bring, going back to the like SST days and those kind of things. Right, okay. Yeah, that's and great stuff. So what, what made you get Melody? What, at what point in your life did you decide, right, that's all that, that noisy stuff, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move on from that? <laughs> I don't know. I guess uh, you just grow older and... Uh, and I haven't. Uh, yeah, well, I know. You've been playing hardcore all night. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the album is called Vicious and we have been playing tunes off it and uh, it's out through Fat Cat and it's out now. It's been out about a month, hasn't it? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It's got a great cover on it. This is still shrink-wrapped because you just gave it to me. <laughs> but thank you very much indeed. You're have welcome. You, have you got any dates coming up? Yeah, already? we're actually playing uh, tomorrow night and here in Manchester at uh, the Fallow Cafe. I've got them written down. So that we're used playing... to be Trough, didn't it? I think I'm right in saying. Yeah, that used to be Trough, yeah. Fallow Field, something like that. And yeah. then we're playing at Broadcast in a few days in, in Glasgow on the 14th, Leeds um, on the 15th, Birmingham at Hare and Hounds on the 16th. We're doing the ATP Festival on the 24th. Oh, great. Who's curated that? Uh, Primavera Sound. It's like the end of an era, part mm-hmm. one. So it's the first weekend of their last ever kind of. Uh, whole thing and then the monday it's our last uk show it's at birthdays in london it's at free show on the 25th fabulous okay well i've just enjoyed it so much tonight you got one more tune to do for us and it's called miss out these days excellent